We announced Avalonia XPF earlier this year, and we've seen incredible interest from enterprises looking for a solution to take their WPF apps to new platforms. One of the most common questions is, what's the developer experience like? And that's what we'll demonstrate in this video. So let's begin in Visual Studio. We'll create a new WPF project, and we'll name it Hello XPF. This is a standard WPF project that comes with Visual Studio, and we'll target .NET 6. Let me move things around. It's going to be a really simple demo, nothing groundbreaking, but I want you to see just how easy it is to take a WPF app and run it on macOS and Linux using XPF. So we'll have a button that when clicked, increments a number that we display in a label. Super simple stuff. Let's add the code behind. And now we're ready to run this. And here's the app. It's just a vanilla WPF application. Nothing unique or special about this right now. So how do we migrate this to XPF? Well, the only changes we need to make are in the CS proj. I'm going to update the project SDK. And I'm going to remove this use WPF attribute. I'm going to rebuild the project. And if I hit F5, we're now running on XPF. Now it's not that exciting to see it on Windows. So let me switch over to my Mac and we'll start the project there. I've opened a project in JetBrains Rider and notice that the XAML is unchanged. If I open CS Proj, you'll see that we're still using our XPF SDK. The code behind for the main window retains all of the system.windows namespaces and remains unchanged from the original WPF project. I'll go ahead and start this. Now the app's running on my Mac. And lastly, let's look at Linux. Here I am again in JetBrains Rider with the same project totally unchanged. Let's go ahead and start it. And here we have it. A WPF application running on Mac and Linux with zero code modifications. It truly is magic. If you have a WPF app and you're looking to take it cross-platform, then do get in touch.